Let's talk about formatting requirements and kind of the best workflow practices for working in Adobe Photoshop to create your designs for class. Um, obviously you'll start out by opening up a new file, File, New, and you're given a whole bunch of options here. Um, go ahead and take a look at the presets here. Click on the little drop down menu menu arrow and you'll see that there are a bunch of different things here. These three here relate to print so if you think that you ever might want to print out a copy of your design you'll probably want to save, you'll probably want to work in one of these formats. However if you're just creating something for the web go ahead and choose the web format. Um, if you're only thinking that it's pretty much only going to be presented digitally then the web format is good. Um, so it doesn't really matter what you choose there but the most important thing to do is to make sure that your color mode is set to RGB color mode. That's going to give you the most flexibility and the most uh, the widest range of colors to work with when you're working digitally. So make sure you're in RGB color mode and don't worry too much about the other settings and then just hit OK. Then you'll get a new document <clears throat> And then you can start designing. You can start uh, working on uh, your project and let's say you've been working on it for a good 15 minutes or so. At this point it's going to be an excellent idea to go ahead and save a copy of what you have so far. So you want to save it in the native Photoshop document format so that you can easily go back and edit your design if you want to because Photoshop document format has a bunch of information that it saves for you such as the layers and the shapes and all of the um, information that you would need to be able to more easily and readily edit your design if you want to go back to it and revise it and work on it some more. So it's always a good idea to save in native uh, one copy of your file in native format. So we're going to go to File, Save and then we're going to save it as a Photoshop document. So right here under the format option, go to the drop down menu and make sure you select the one here that says .psd for Photoshop. And then give your file a title. And as far as titling, it's a good idea to get into the habit of using correct formatting for your title. So you want to choose uh, first name, last name, week number, assignment number, um, something like that. Click Save and then there you go. You've got your file saved in native format. So um, then you keep working and let's say you've worked enough for another hour and you've got this design absolutely perfect and you're ready to present it to the world. Um, so you want to share it in the classroom, right? Well, first thing you want to do is make sure you save again. So you want to make sure that you save a copy of the native Photoshop document. So go to File, Save to go ahead and just save this file once more to make sure that you have all the information saved in the Photoshop document format. Now for presenting in class you want to present a JPEG not a PSD file. So the PSD file is too big we don't really need all that information um, when we look at your work in, in class. We just need uh, something optimized for web presentation. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a copy of your file. You're going to go to Image Duplicate and it's going to you can go ahead and leave the default set there for now it's going to make a duplicate copy of your file so now you have two files open um, you'll probably want to go ahead and close the .psd file so that you don't accidentally change that and now with your copy of your design you're going to optimize this for web presentation so the way to do that is um, first thing you want to do make sure that you have cropped and got uh, and zoomed in and kind of figured out how you're going to present your design. So I don't want nearly as much white canvas around it so I'm going to crop away a lot of that excess white canvas and hit enter or return. Um, another handy thing the crop tool can do is the crop tool can actually add um, white canvas to the edges. So if you need to add more space around your design you can um, drag the um, the markers for the crop tool out and hit enter or return and it will add more white canvas surrounding your design. So keep in mind those handy tools. Oh and one other thing it can do you can actually rotate it. So if you want to change the orientation of your design and um, play around with the composition then you can do that as well. So a lot of fun things to play around with there. When you're totally satisfied with the presentation you want to go to image, image size and this is where you're going to um, do some initial things to reduce the file size. First thing you want to do is you want to set the resolution. So first we're going to uncheck the resample image box and set the resolution to 72 pixels per inch because that's the standard um, basically the standard for, for pre presenting uh, digitally on the web. Then you click 
again the reach, reach sample image box and when you recheck that it opens up the pixel dimensions up top. You kind of want these to be approximately somewhere around 800 by 600 so basically kind of take a look at your design and figure out if it's wider or um, taller. So if it's wider that's a landscape format, if it's taller that's a portrait format and um, so you just kind of want the longest side to be about 800 pixels. Mine kind of looks like a square so it doesn't really matter. I think I'm just going to go with 800 on the width and that's good enough. And you know I could go smaller if I wanted to. I could go 600. Just somewhere around there and just let the let the cons proportions remain constrained. So don't try to force it to be exactly 600 by 800. Just let it go the way it, way it wants to go as long as one as long as the widest longest side is is no more than 800 pixels you're fine. So when you've done that click okay and it kind of reduces the size but if you hit control or command plus um, then it will you can zoom back into full screen to be able to see it large um, again and then what you do is go to file save for web and devices and this is going to open up a nice big giant dialog box I'm going to kind of see if I can get it to scrunch down a little smaller and let's see can't seem to pull up the doesn't seem to want to scrunch smaller so I'm going to have to kind of zoom mo move around on the screen here but basically this is giving me um, uh, basically options for how I want to save it um, I would just leave this set default to JPEG so JPEG is generally the easiest thing to do it, it works for most things so so make sure this is set to JPEG you can leave the quality on high if you want to you can um, you don't want to bring this down too too low or you're going to get um, poor image quality so I actually usually just leave that full on at you know 100 percent which actually puts that at maximum but uh, you know anything medium or higher is good don't go don't go low quality on that and really you don't need to worry about any of the other settings just leave everything else as it is and then all you have to do is click on the save button which I can't seem to get it to get in the screen that I'm recording <laughs> um, so right but anyway you just click save and okay yeah here we go click save and then you can save your file um, <clears throat> when you save your file again make sure you're using the right formatting here last name first name week number assignment number we can delete the words copy out of it and it saves it as a JPEG JPG so there you go that's the file format and the optimized uh, file that you will then upload to the classroom for uh, presentation and that is pretty much the the, the way you want to work because then you know once you get some feedback on your JPEG if you feel like you want to go back and work on your design some more you can open up the .psd file the native Photoshop file and be able to easily edit that and change it to um, to work on your design some more and improve it